a company requires three inputs to produce a product. The input requirements for four weeks are given by matrix P. Pause the video and try to interpret this matrix. Since there are three rows, they represent the three inputs and the four columns represent the four weeks. For example, the number six in the second row and first column shows the amount of input required in the first week. Suppose that the company can buy these inputs from two suppliers whose prices for the three inputs are given by matrix Q. The rows of this matrix shows the suppliers and the columns are the three inputs. Number 5 is the price of first input by the second supplier. Similarly, you can interpret the other numbers. Now obtain the total input bill for 4 weeks for both the suppliers. If you have solved it, you have understood the matrix. If you haven't, don't worry. We will solve it together. Simple mathematics says that multiplying the price and units of an inputs will give the total cost of the input. So by this logic, multiplying matrix P and matrix Q must give the input bill. Recall the condition for matrix multiplication. For matrix multiplication, the number of columns in the first matrix must be equal to the number of rows in the second matrix. Is this multiplication possible? No, because P is a matrix of order 3 by 4 and Q is a matrix of order 2 by 3. Is this possible? Yes, because the number of columns in Q is 3 and that is equal to the number of rows in P. So multiplying the two matrices gives QP. Therefore, the first row gives the input bill for supplier 1 for week 1, 2, 3 and 4. The second row gives the input bill for supplier 2 for week 1, 2, 3 and 4.